welcome to Boomer Travel Patrol. I'm your host, Lisa Caslin, and today we've got Robert Ahrens, who represents the San Diego Tourism Authority with us today. Welcome, Robert. Hi there, Lisa. Thanks for having me. <laughs> you are welcome. So uh, we are going back to history, uh, and we want to check out different areas of the country, one of which is California. And, you know, San Diego is undoubtedly a beautiful place. Um, I, I was there many years ago and enjoyed it. Uh, but when I think of California, I always think of the beaches, right? La Jolla uh, Cove and, and the zoo and SeaWorld and all that, that fun stuff. But, you know, when we talked, you really opened my eyes to uh, a number of interesting facts about San Diego that I didn't know. One of which is that San Diego is the birthplace of California. Talk about that. Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, people don't realize that San Diego goes back hundreds of years, actually 474 years ago, a Spanish explorer named Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo sailed his ship, the San Salvador, into San Diego Bay. Um, it was on September 1542. So it goes back a long, long time. The thing is, he came into the bay, he looked around, gave it a name, but he didn't stick around very long. He didn't stick around long enough to build a fort or do anything else. It was more just kind of surveying the coast of California. But what's really cool is he was the first European uh, to land in California and uh, the first, you know, to what will become the state of California at the west coast of the United States. So it was pretty significant for us. It put us on the map, literally. And wow. um, the San Salvador ship uh, sailed on and, and discovered other, other places up the coast. Uh, but right now, today, uh, Cabrillo National Monument is our only national park, and it marks the spot there on Point Loma, which is the Plymouth Rock of the West, essentially, uh -huh. uh, where, where he landed. Oh, very, very neat. And so talk about, I know you had a big, big uh, weekend this past Labor Day, uh, and, and you made history again uh, with, uh, with a replica of, of the, the, the ship, I guess, that he arrived That's right. on. Okay, yeah. So, so the, uh, the Maritime Museum of San Diego actually built a $6.2 million working full-scale replica of the San Salvador. It's a massive ship. It's using woods, at, like just like they would the original builders back in the 1500s. It's an amazing ship, and we're calling this the Mayflower of the West. And it opened for the first time to the public. They could walk the decks, look at the rigging, look at the way the sailors would live back in the 1500s. It was it was pretty primitive. I mean, they had, some yeah. boats, they had a, a table to dine on. Um, but it was pretty basic. Um, yeah. It's amazing that a ship like that would be out on the open ocean, but it was. Uh, so it opened over the weekend at, at the Festival of Hale, and now this ship is going to be basically San Diego's ambassador to kind of tell this origin story of San Diego and the birthplace of California. It's pretty exciting for us. Wow. Uh, and, yeah. is, um, and actually, in fact, it's going up on a, a cruise that just started. It's called the Pacific Heritage Tour. And it's going to Oxnard, Monterey, and Morro Bay. And at each stop, it's going to stop and, and, and have visitors go on board and, and learn through exhibits and things um, about the ship and how San Diego really is where it all began. Very good, very good. So you're competing with the East now. And, we and are. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> Little pilgrims over there. So um, aside from that, and that, that is a big deal, what else would a history buff want to sink their teeth into when they get to San Diego? Yeah, well, for folks that are really into history, um, like I said, the Cabrillo National Monument, our only national park, is right there up on the top of this peninsula, and that's where Cabrillo landed. It's our only national park. Uh, there's a film there that talks all about Cabrillo. You've got an exhibition room that tells about his journey and what it was like to be a Spanish explorer back during the Age of Discovery. Uh, there's a scale model replica of the San Salvador, but it is not the same as being the actual replica ship, obviously. Uh -huh. uh, but they've got tide pools you can explore. Uh, if people are into lighthouses, there's an old Point Loma lighthouse, and it's there. It tells what it was like to be a, a lighthouse keeper back in the 1800s. Uh, so it's a really fun place to explore. There's there's hiking trails, there's whale watching overlooks, because during the winter time, you can see gray whales migrating between Mexico and all the way up to Alaska, and they are just off the coast there. And with your binoculars, you can actually look out and, and see. Uh, so it's a really nice place to go. Um, and then Old Town. Old Town San Diego is really the, uh, the original downtown of San Diego. And at the top of this hill overlooking the town is Presidio Hill. And this is where the Spanish explorers came about 200 years later after Cabrillo and started the very first string of missions in California. There's 21 missions, 
California, or San Diego had the very first one. It's called Mission San Diego de Acala. So there's a museum on the top of this hill that kind of uh, denotes the spot where this mission was. And then down below is this old town from the 1800s, the Adobe Building, the big open plaza, the Wells Fargo Bank, the old jail, the old schoolhouse. Uh, but all those original buildings are there. It's like, like stepping back in time. It's very cool. Wow. Um, and then just a little bit north up in Mission Valley is the actual mission that they relocated. So in 1769, they, they set up Indio Hill, but they actually moved it closer to the San Diego River so they could have a water source, which makes mm -hmm. a lot of sense to be closer yeah. to the water. Um, and today the mission still stands up above the uh, hustle and bustle of the city that we call San Diego today. Uh, but there's an old chapel. There's an old uh, graveyard. Uh, you can see the excavation site where the, uh, the the monastery used to be. But it's really a peak of what it was like to be in the 1700s. It's a beautiful mission-style building, too. Uh, wow. Folks like seeing the missions of California. Go to the very first one. It's it's right there. Yeah, absolutely. Woo, wow, you have an embarrassment of riches there. All right. So speaking of which, uh, so when when we want when we're all tuckered out now and we're we're done learning. Yep. And we want to relax and, and see some beautiful things. What are some of the tried and true attractions that we should? We should you know, I was, yeah, I tell people, go to the water. We've got 70 miles of beaches, and every beach is different than the next. Um, We've got Coronado Beach is one of the number one beaches in America. Um, and then just up north of downtown, La Jolla's beaches, it is really like the Riviera of California. Uh, imagine turquoise, clear waters, white sand beaches. There's seals and sea lions that are just like resting the, the rocks. You got these cute little boutique hotels and resorts that are overlooking the water. Uh, it's mm -hmm. very popular for kayaking and stand up paddle boarding. So, if you want to try that, um, mm -hmm. and there's also snorkeling in the late summertime. The snorkeling season's kind of um, uh, taping off a little bit right now, but pretty much mm -hmm. year round, you can you know get the water doing kayaking or surfing even at La Jolla Shores. Um, and I always tell people, go to Balboa Park. Balboa Park is kind of our cultural center. Um, 15 museums there uh, along the Prado. And they've got this one uh, building called the California Tower. And for the first time in like 80 years, folks can actually go up to the top of the tower now and look out over all of San Diego and, and see the views, a nice 360 degree view um, of the city all the way down to the bay. Um, it's beautiful. And speaking of the bay, I always tell, tell folks, take a harbor excursion, get on the water, see the city from the bay, just like Cabrillo would have done back in the day. Uh, there's flagship cruises and hornblower cruises, and they either do these um, excursions on the bay um, near the city and past Point Loma, uh, but they also go off the coast a little bit. So if you want to, you can go out to the open ocean and then look back at the coast of San Diego. And it's beautiful on a clear blue sky day. Uh, you can't beat it. Wonderful. All right. Listen, so we're coming into fall. Uh, if, if folks want an excuse to to hop over to San Diego. Do you have any festivals or events that are happening that they should check out? Yeah, there's a, one thing I really love in the September, October time frame, and it's the Apples in Julian. There's this old west town where the gold rush of California actually came to Southern California. People don't know this again. Um, and it was here right in San Diego. There's gold mines, but after the gold is gone, they started planting apple orchards. So there's these apple picking, uh, apple pie shops, even all the locals, all out of St. Diego's go out there, my friends and family, we head out there every fall uh, to go gold panning, to a tour of the gold mines, um, and just have some apple pie. It's, it's really ma pa and apple pie, literally, out in the middle <laughs> of our back country. Um, but then the Cabrillo Festival is coming up, end of this month, September 5th to October 1st, and they do this really nice reenactment of Cabrillo's landing in San Diego, where he plants the flag in the sand and says, I claim this for Spain, even though uh, it really wasn't much after that, but um, <laughs> at least at that moment. There's a big free family-friendly event. There's uh, food and vendors, um, but it melds a lot of different cultures that settled San Diego. So mm -hmm. you get the original um, indigenous tribes, which is the Kumeye tribes, oh, okay. and um, Spanish, Portuguese dancers, uh, Mexican uh, heritage, all, all in one. So it's a really good chance to experience the, the heritage of San Diego, what made it what it is today. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Well, listen, yeah. thank you so much for, for joining us today, Robert. It was a pleasure to have you. All right. Thanks so much, Lisa. It was fun. Bye-bye.